Well, happy Mother's Day. By the way, this is Keith Stone making you laugh part 14. Well, I'm going to really hurt you this morning for comedy. I hope all the mothers are prepared, so get your laughter kits ready, because I'm going to give it to you. First, I just want to say that I'm a very generous person. Do you know I give to the poor, to the needy, and to the homeless? Do you know I help the poor and the meek? Um, I actually give food to the homeless. I actually had some relatives of mine that came from my grandmother's house, and they came to visit me. So, could you believe I'll let you have a sneak peek at some of the roaches, and they came to visit me. Look. See, they're eating. You see? See, he's moving. Roaches, they had came to visit me. They, they came from my grandmother's house. They, they wanted to visit me for Mother's Day. So I was wishing them a happy Mother's Day, you know, and all that stuff. You know, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. You know, we got to share the season's greetings. I even got them a yogurt because they might be on the diet. She says, low fat yogurt. Get it right, low fat. So we must watch our carbs and calories. And now for our, for our friends, look, see, this is like a little homeless shelter for roaches. See, look, I helped them out. They were hungry, so I had to feed the needy and the greedy. So I had to help them out. The meek shouldn't hurt the earth. Fuck that. These are roaches. God damn it, you better beat the hell out of them niggas. Man, damn, get them. Shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's like going trick or treat. Fuck that. You supposed to treat the roaches like niggas. Bang, I got you. Oh, we used to have contests. At my house, at my grandmother's house, you know when, it, Lord, we we just could never really go outside when the weather was bad. You know when it's, in, you know when it's cold outside. Guess what we used to do, my viewers? We used to play football with roaches. You know how you play football with roaches? You get your fingers together and you, you actually get some straws and you build your football goal, and then you. Thump the roaches and see who can go score the most goals. It's called football with roaches. Just letting you know, my viewers. Well, I have some tragedy news. I want to let all the men and women on earth, including the gays and lesbians, everybody know something. Tragedy has happened in the earth. Something worse than has happened in the White House. It happened to E.T. Why did E.T., you know the movie E.T., why did he come to Earth, and, you know, he landed in the white neighborhood, so I wasn't mad at that, you know, he didn't land in the ghetto, so we blessed him, but the white people, they did him wrong than anybody else in the Earth, and they were straight. He landed at Elliot's house, and then they dressed as, he's already an extraterrestrial, they should have took him trick-or-treating with his already extraterrestrial costume on. Now watch this, my viewers. You remember the movie E.T. First, they gonna dress this nigga in a Benjamin Buttonman drag queen outfit. He look older than all the, my, he look older than everybody's grandmother on the earth. Good Lord, why, what y'all did? Lord, she is late. She is tired. Put this weed to your, t Lord, no, you see he looked a hot man. Who grandmother is that? I'm not going to lie to you. E.T. went from a little, he should have said like cat with, I am a boy, Damon. What are you doing to me, Damon? They had E.T. all tore up. I am E. motherfucking T. Damon. No. They had that nigga look the hot ass mess. They had that wig on. He couldn't do the Tina Turner thing. They, I guess she needed a grandmother because he would E.T. look like Benjamin Buttman. I wish should have got E.T. an AARP card. Is he a senior citizen? Lord, no. We need to get him a discount. Look, bless you. Then E.T. went into their house. Now, I like white people that got alcohol. He became an alcoholic. He got towed all back. He was listening to that little John. Turn down for what? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, he was towed up from the flow up, and then, <sighs> forgive me for this, white people, why would y'all do that? Then the last but not least, they didn't want E.T. to look like a drag queen going trick-or-treating, so they let E.T. go out like Casper the Friendly Ghost with some, with some Ronald McDonald shoes on. They want this nigga to be the employee of the month working at McDonald's. They have this nigga, wait a minute, he got, wait a minute, E.T.'s feet, they got regular, regular big, and... What is this? Lord, no. They, 
No, no. Hey, buddy, look, he might as well just go to McDonald's, get him a happy meal. He's a little, one of them little cheering out there. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, just let you know, my viewers. <clears throat> You know, a lot of things is going on out there in this world. You know, I seen a woman the other day, and she was very attractive, I thought, until she turned around. I was like, Lord have mercy. She had the oldest wig on God's good earth. Lord, it's Mother's Day. You should treat yourself, not mistreat yourself. I'm not going to lie to you. Y'all had got chronic baby shots, a weave, a wig, a curl, some, some other stuff growing in there. She looked like she had a bird's nest going on there. And it had a roach in her hair. I look, oh, Lord, no. Wait, wait a minute. We got to shake them haters off. You got to get them up out of there. That's why. No, your hair was like Toys R Us for roaches. I'm a big kid now. No, we can't do it. I'm just letting you know. You know You know what I thought about? <clears throat> I love everything. You know, God has blessed us, and I love all my viewers. But the worst thing on earth for a woman to do, and you know it's summertime now. I just want to get y'all prepared for the worst thing. I seen a woman the other day. She had on some sandals, and you know, I was like, boy, I love a woman with some cute-ass feet. Why her feet look like one of them Velociraptors from the movie Jurassic Park? She was tap dancing every time. Wait a minute, my nigga, you gonna fuck up everybody's thoughts. You gonna cut everybody, cut it out with them toes. She was off the hook. She said, why you gonna mug me? I can't help but your feet look like a baby Tyrannosaur. Look, I don't even know. Then another woman, um, her big toe... You know how sometimes you got your big toe, you got your other toe next to your big toe. Her big toe looked like it was giving me the middle finger. Look, this some bullshit. She said, well, I had to have my feet cut down. Now look, you're going to fuck everybody up during the summertime and you wear sandals. You look like you're flipping everybody off. Why in the name of Jesus? No, we can't be doing that. I'm just letting you know, my viewers. Uh, you know, I love all the black women. You know, one of the greatest things... I want to teach y'all a new thing. I, I'm sorry. I have bad news to report, everybody. All my viewers. Do you want to know some bad news? I could do like the boy in the movie The Sixth Sense, too. You know, I'm going to teach you. We, we beat the hell out of roaches. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Look. I see dead people. I'm not going to lie to you. Do it again. It's like Area 51 with roaches. They died. Fuck that. I fed them too much. They got fat. He thought he was at the beach. That's why he's laying on his back, bitches. He's trying to get his suntan on. You know how white people try to get their suntan on. He's trying to get his suntan. He's laying in the sun. He's getting right for the summertime. He's trying to look delicious with the honeys before he's a roach so he can go get his breed on. I'm not going to lie to you. No roaches got to get their skis. I'm just letting you know, my viewers, you know, we got to turn it up for the Mother's Day. You know, we're going to, all the black people and black folk going to be at everybody's church. But I pray y'all go to a church with some air conditioning. I'm not going to lie to you. I went to a church and his name was Reverend D. Ron. And he preached to us about how to stay right and how to not stay wrong. And by the time he preached, his false teeth fell out of his mouth. Look, look Reverend, you did us wrong. You just scared these little children. Your teeth was like a convertible. You did like one of the movie, The Transformers. They just... Oh, my God, Reverend. Bless you for blessing us on Mother's Day. Look, he blessed us. Oh, no, no, no. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. One of the greatest things that you could ever do to a woman... You know, the ladies love special treatment. Now, I had a woman talking about you gonna give me some old pleasure. Oh, well, okay, sure, I'm, I'm game for it. Um, but I got bad news. She said, put your face up. Wait, wait a minute, my nigga, yo, <laughs> yo, fumes. <laughs> oh my God, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I want you to eat. I'm on a diet, I'm not gonna lie to that. That place is toxic for our health. It's toxic for my community, she said. What do you mean toxic? I'm going to teach you something. If you don't use bleach instead of douche, because bleach kills germs, that I don't need to eat nothing. Michael Jackson told me, you know, that is a, you know, I thought about Michael Jackson. I thought about the, the, the song Beat It. I thought he was talking about masturbation. You beat it through the whole song. Beat it, beat it.
shit. I'm just messing with you, my viewers. I'm just kidding. Shoot, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That's just edited for TV. Now, you know, the one of the greatest preachers on earth is a broke preacher. Because you know what? He ain't got to never worry about paying taxes or nothing. So, I just want to say a happy Easter. I love everybody. And may God be with you.